Well, hey everybody, welcome to another Not Thursday in New Hampshire. This is an Olight edition. I literally have a box of stuff to show you, so we better get right to it. I sure hope you guys are ready for this, because I don't know if I am. Whoa, Olight has gone crazy this month. So this is for the September Olight flash sale, which runs from 8 p.m. on the 23rd till midnight on the 27th. And in advance, I think all of you who use my links during the flash sale, and you know that you can use the SDNT10 coupon code to get 10% off any non-sale item at any time. So where do we begin? Well, we're gonna begin with just getting the stuff laid out. There is a whole bunch of new stuff. That is the swivel, it's a work light. This is the Archer something completely different. It's a thrower and it's uh, it's completely different. Uh, my favorite of the new products, the Seeker 3 Pro, this thing, yeah. I have not been able to put it down or not take it with me since I got it. The Array 2, which is a headlamp very nice, was using that last night. Modeled after the i5T, which is one of my favorites. This is the i5R, which now comes with a rechargeable cell and better performance. A must have accessory, whoops, is the O port. And I will talk about accessories in the video. And let's see what else we have here. This is the i1R2, which for any of you who have an account or make a new account, go and buy stuff during the sale. You're gonna get one of these for free. They're like 20 bucks. And they will give you a certain color at random. And a first. We have an O-knife. The splint. And I gotta say, this thing is actually pretty nice. So, we have a lot to go over in a short amount of time. And why a short amount of time? Because this is just a video for the flash sale to show you guys what is available this month at, you know, great discounts, but they're new products as well. So coming up in the weeks to follow this video, I'm going to do a few full-on reviews of a couple of these products because I think they deserve it. And I want you guys to be able to see them, you know, at an extended view. Let's put it that way. So again, the i1R2 little keychain flashlight, or you can put it on a zipper pull. These things are rechargeable, super bright. You're gonna get one for free. So you can't beat that. The O-Port, see how it's got this little keychain thing? This is an absolute essential if you own O-Lights that magnetically charge. So magnetically, this swivels, you take that off, you plug a USB-C cable into this, and then any of your magnetically charging lights, you can charge on the go and you carry one less cable with you. So the O-Port is a definite must and they don't cost much money. And one of my favorite new accessories is the O-Link. I told you guys about it last month. So we were out and about doing things and I had it clipped on my backpack as I normally do and inadvertently I found a new feature for it. Well, that magnet is so strong that it's stuck to the back of the side-by-side, -side, the Mahindra. My bag did not move the entire time we were out. So not only can I throw my flashlight on it and it sticks to it, so the O-Link, like I said last month, was gonna be an awesome accessory. It definitely has been. Okay, so the new i5R, which is modeled after the i5T. It's a double A cell flashlight, which means it will still run on a double A, regular store-bought alkaline nickel metal hydride. But the new R comes with a 2.4 volt USB-C rechargeable cell. So in return for this cell, 
you get 350 lumens on high out of this and you get a much greater run time. I think you can get 10 minutes on the high, which is really good. It's just exceptional. I own 10 of these lights, the i5Ts. I love them so much. This is my go out and get the male flashlight. In the winter time, there's always one of these in my hoodie. And actually everybody in the house owns an i5T. So the i5R is a welcome addition and it's just a super simple to use, great tail switch light. Definitely one of my most favorites. All right, well, since we're going up in size, this is the new O-Knife Splint, and I have to say, it's actually really slick. Uh, the deployment on it is fantastic. I mean, it is super quick, super smooth. There's actually bearings in here, which you can definitely feel it. I mean, it's, it's remarkable, actually. It's made of N690 steel, and I love the finish of it. It's kind of blackened out, but on the raised points, it's kind of worn. It's just a good looking knife. G10 handles, blue accents. The pocket clip is nice, tight, snug. You know, that's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like wet noodles for pocket clips. And, uh, you know, obviously only time will tell as to how these knives hold up, but, you know, First shot opinion, I can tell you it's uh, it's actually a really good feeling knife. There is no play whatsoever in there, and it is razor sharp. Oh, and not only when you get the knife, you get a cool little carry case, but inside, Olight is brilliant from the perspective of collectible things. So it comes with this big uh, coin. Outdoor Elite O knife and uh, O knife folding pocket knife. So that's pretty cool. And it has its own little sleeve on the inside. So you can put your knife, your coin, throw it in your bag. You're good to go. Now, another new product is the swivel. It's, it's essentially a work type light. I mean, I guess it's good for at home if you lose the power and stuff but it has two lights on it. It has this flood on the face. It has a regular type light on that end. It swivels, it magnetizes, and it clips. Pretty awesome. And this puts out 400 lumens on the flat side of it. And it's actually a, you know, a fairly bright flood. If you're working in a close environment, you're gonna get lots of uh, good use out of the light. And then obviously on the other side, you can use it like a traditional flashlight. And that actually projects really well. Oh, and by the way, really cool. This glows after you're done using it for a little while. So if you use it and put it down, uh, you'll be able to see it for a bit. And this as well is USB-C rechargeable. And it comes with a, it actually comes with an extra long USB-C cable, which is pleasant. So there you go. That is the swivel. Okay, new to me is the Olight Array headlamp. And it's pretty cool because the lamp is separate from the battery. And this is another one, USB-C, rechargeable. And it is actually quite bright. I was out walking around in the woods with it last night and the 600 lumen Max will actually give you three hours of runtime. So plenty of time to go out and go for a hike. If you're gonna be out longer than that, well, just back the power down. And it's extremely comfortable. I couldn't even feel it. And you can see with the beam shots, 
I'm wearing a baseball cap and the lid didn't affect me being able to see at all. And I just wanted to comment that on the build of this, it's really nice. This is actually all aluminum. It's a one button power switch control for your modes. And with the battery in the back, if you look at this shot, the battery indicator lights on the back are good so if you're walking down the street or riding your bike you have some visibility on the tail end of it so that is the array 2 if you're not somebody who wants to clip something onto a baseball cap and you need an actual real headlamp that'll do it okay next up is the archer this is a completely new different thing from olight now I'm not a big uh, fan of thrower flashlights, only for the fact that I don't really need them, but there are people who definitely need them because it's a specific type of light. But I will say something about this. I love this form-fitted holster, which has the clip, you know, built in. It's one piece and it just slides in perfectly. I think that's great. I like things like that. You hear all that noise? Check this out. You, you got that, Lou? You hear me saying lumens and stuff, and you gotta come in and pack yourself into the Olight box, right? Can you do it a little bit quieter, please? Yeah, pretend like, you know, nothing happened. So, anyways, with Lou. Um, <laughs> this thing, what does it do? A max of 1,000 lumens, 535 meters of throw. And when you look at the beam pattern, yes, it is a tight, square, bright beam. I did the usual walk around here up to the top of the driveway, firing it back at the shed, and uh, then I actually took the camera, put it down by the shed, went all the way back up to the street so you could see how bright it is down there from this. That was pretty cool. Obviously, I can hit the stop sign at the end of the street one quarter of a mile out. Now, the thing about the light that I really like ergonomically, it feels awesome. It really feels awesome in hand. Complete aluminum body. You got your one, you know, action button there. And it is a flat magnetic rechargeable base. So the Archer is actually pretty cool. If you're someone who needs to see like way, way, way over there, in a tight, you know, beam. This light may do it for you. Okay, and the last, and definitely my most favorite of the lot, is the Olight Seeker 3. This thing is awesome. I've got to tell you, it is super impressive and I love the updates that they've done to it. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time on this, but I'm going to do a full review sometime within the next week or so, comparing the Seeker 2, which is a great light, to the Seeker 3. But let me show you some immediate uh, changes that I really dig. So structurally speaking, it looks very similar. The bezel's a bit thicker which is good for protection. It's rounded out, not flattened, but it's this button and the button is metal. That's not plastic. The beauty of it is that when you turn it on now, which it's locked out after 30 seconds of non-use, it locks itself, which is great. All you have to do is turn it. That's it. Now you have your normal three mode settings where you press and hold and you get high, medium, low. But this now acts as a dial. I'm sure you've already seen this online, but you get a stepless ramp up that is just killer. Check out this footage. I absolutely love this flashlight.
So yeah, it maxes out at 4,200 lumens with 250 meters of throw. It's more of a flood than anything else. But this makes all the difference in the world. Why? Well, I'll tell you because, oh, see it shut off. I like that, keeps me safe. Uh, it has a proximity sensor, which for those of you who don't like it, you can turn it off. It can actually turn off that feature. Just check your manual and stuff. That stepless dimming is great because you're not just going now 5, 50, 300, all the way to 1200 lumens. You can find that sweet spot somewhere in the middle, but then you can go all the way up to 4200. So that is perfect. I absolutely love it. And if you're in the middle of it and you don't care to be where you're at, press and hold and it goes right back to the preset modes or double click and you go to your turbo, you know, your strobe, all that stuff with the same battery indicator on the face and power setting indicator. This one right here, this is the keeper for me out of the batch. Whenever we have, you know, this stuff come in for flash sales, some of it I move along to friends, family, or over here, and there's always something that is like, I've got to just, it's mine. Yeah. That is the one that if I had to choose out of everything that just came in, must have flashlight. Can I, uh, can I get the box back? I, I gotta lug it all out of here, it's, it's a lot of stuff. I know you helped me with the video and flashlight footage and stuff, but I, I really, I know, I know you like this one. They're waiting for us, we gotta wrap up, Lou. All right, till the end, okay? All right, everybody, well, I appreciate you joining me, and obviously this was a lot of stuff to consume um, but Olight is a fantastic company. They are, they do a lot of philanthropy. If you guys are unaware, I'm telling you, check out the Facebook group and see the things that they do for people and other countries. And it's, uh, it's quite substantial. But again, I'm going to do couple more in-depth reviews over the next couple weeks so keep your eyes out for those videos this is definitely one of them i shot a lot of footage with that already because of its enjoyment all right i'm going outside to wrap up when i come back i need the box okay well he had nothing to say because he knows i'm taking the box back what are you gonna do you can't give him everything all right i'll let him keep the box i'll get another one anyways everybody Thank you for always joining me, participating with the Olight flash sales. I do myself. I bought some stuff for some of my friends. They don't know what it is yet. Again, if you use my links down below, you use my code, you help me to continue to do these videos for you and show you new products. And I appreciate it. I will see you all very soon. Get out and light up your world and enjoy your not Thursday.